Oh, in Chilandu, the Black Isle, in Chilandu. That's where I am today, and I have to admit, I'm feeling a bit under the weather. Oh, I've tried all the cures. Medicine, cook the tea, a nice cup of tea. I even tried snav, swimming, snav. You know, that cold water swimming that seems to be all the rage these days. But then, I was told of an old way to cure an illness. Now, all I'm gonna need is a clout, a cloth or a clout, a clout, and a special topper, a well, a topper located in these woods. I'm at a topper chluti, a chluti well, topper chluti. Oh, that breakfast burrito, man. Oh. The Topper Chluti is a remnant of an ancient tradition, a place of pilgrimage. People would travel here with their own clout, or one belonging to a sick person, dip it in the Topper, then hang it from a gaik, a branch, gaik. This tradition dates far back into pre-Christian times. Although looking at some of the rags strung up here, it's a practice that's still going strong. Marie Morrison is one of the forestry rangers here and can tell me a bit more about it. So Marie, the clouty well, how does it work? Well, first of all, you need a clout. Good, I've got one here. Okay, great. What happens then? So then you take your clout and you dip it into the well itself and you think about any illness or ailment that you might have or need help with and then you tie it to a tree that's round about the well. And what does that do then? The thinking is that the healing waters from the well are going to help uh, deal with any ailments or illnesses that you might have. So if you've got something particular that you want healed, you can think about that at the time as you're tying it onto the tree and then you just leave it there and it works its magic. I've got to be honest, I'm feeling a wee bit rough today, but I've got my clout. What shall I do now? Take it to the well and dip it in the waters and leave it here to help deal with your illness. Right, well, time to give this a go. Now people have variations on this ritual, so to give myself the best chance at health, I've decided to do them all. First up, you circle the topper three times sunwise. That's jesal, or clockwise, jesal. Now some people also say a prayer whilst doing this. And then sprinkle some water on the ground. And finally, dip my clout into the topper and rub it on the affected part of my body. Ah. <sighs> and hang your clout on a gig. Oh, wow, I feel like a new man. Wow, the power of the topper chluti may well be real, but remember, it's not until your clout disintegrates on the gig that your illness is healed. And because of that, it's vital we only use natural fibers because if you hang some plastic-based rag here, well, you may be stuck with your chinus, that's your illness, your chinus forever. And since I'm feeling better, I'm gonna take this clout with me. You know what they say? You should take only photos and leave only footprints in the countryside. Ah, oh, this is a lovely clout. <laughs> 